board. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No! He'd say, let's go! I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind you. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. I know we will. Here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. He lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come oh, now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better.
Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. <clears throat> Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose just we wait. Let's go. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Someone there? You 
in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. We're not shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. I got the scare. It's over here. Stop. I got it loose. Come. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Put your back into it. Toots? Shit. He won't kill No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. Well, hurry, Arthur. <laughs> Come on, come on, quick! Hurt pretty bad. He should be 
He's going, shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. God. Still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You'll be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Don't you worry about it, okay?
Okay, then. Pillar closed up shop. Heaven knows where I'll find another as good. That's the way of the world. How do you do, sir? Howdy. Gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Open up. Come now. We have an appointment. Hello. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met 
This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flaz. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. that the way.
him on there. A minute of your time. Let's get us a close look at this one. Whoa, easy. It's that no good who...
Doing all right? I'm happy to stable that for you. Wish more folks took care of their horses like you. to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Careful. People will look to take that fine animal off you. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. live once, lest you're a cat. Always good to have one of those. A few careful trims and this horse will look just fine. Appreciate. 
Sounds good. Boy. 